Okay, let's look at this particular question. The question is very simple, asking according to the extract, prior to making a home visit, the nurses must. Prior means before she makes a home visit, the nurse must do something. So now must means it is implying that she has to 100% do it, okay? But she what she has to do before she makes a home visit, okay? So as usual, without reading the options, we'll go to the paragraph. The first paragraph says, um, nurses home visit guidelines. Now, when nurse is ready to depart, okay, automatically you can understand that this paragraph is talking about what she should do before she starts, okay? Then she's saying he or she must advise a minimum of two staff members that he or she is commencing home visits. Okay, so before she goes, she has to tell it to two people with one staff member responsible for logging the nurse's movement. Okay, so one of the person will be responsible for uh, logging. Logging means, you know, writing it down. Okay, more than one person must be made aware of the nurse's movement. Failure to do so could result in breakdown of communication and increase risk to nurse or practice. So saying that again, more than one person should be made aware that she is going otherwise there will be there can be a possibility of a breakdown of communication or there could be an increased risk to nurse or the practice and so that is so in this paragraph uh, you can understand that they are talking about what a nurse must do before she goes for a home visit and um, you know you know if you read the entire thing you can understand that they are saying that you know more than one person should be made aware that she is going for a home visit because it is important otherwise breakdown of communication could happen so and one person should be responsible for logging her movement and all these kind of things so the entire paragraph is talking one simple thing that you should tell it to people more than one person okay now the second paragraph on return to the practice okay so if you read this paragraph you can understand that once she comes back from the practice or from, to the practice that means once she finishes the home visit okay so that should that this particular thing should indicate that you're talking about you know this is this this paragraph is not what you should be looking for because here in the question they are asking about prior to making a home visit and here you're talking about what the nurse must do once she comes back okay still we'll read it the nurse will immediately advise staff members of his or her return okay so that means she has to tell that she came back then this time will be documented on the patient's visit list okay so the return time should be you know documented on the patient's visit list and then scanned and filed by administration staff so and this patient visit list whatever you are documenting then that has to be scanned and filed by the administration staff then the next sentence the nurse will then attend to any specimens cold chain requirements restocking of the nurses kit and biohazard as well so so after she all these things she has to look for you know if she has any specimens with her she has to manage it if she has to keep any medicines in you know a certain temperature cold chain requirements if that is there she has to maintain that raise talking of the nurses kit if she has used up something from her nursing kit during that home visit she has to restock it now after she comes back then she has to manage any biohazardous waste if she is carrying any biohazardous waste so these are the things so anyway this paragraph is not aligned with the information that they are asking us um, so uh, again we'll read the option uh, so the nurse must record the time they leave the practice so the nurse must record no the nurse is not the person who is authorized to record because it is written with one staff member responsible for log logging the nurses movement it is not the nurse who has to log uh, but another staff member okay another it's also the time will be documented on the patient's list it's not mentioned that who is going to document it so we cannot, you know, fix that nurse must record the time. Okay, anyway, so the second option is refill the bag with necessary items. Yes, that has been told, but it is once she comes back from the practice, okay, uh, or comes back from the home visit. So that information is not A and B eliminated. So C, communicate their intentions to others. Yes, that is what the entire first paragraph is talking about that the you know they have to communicate their intention more than one person should be made aware um on and what will happen if you don't do that so all these things have been mentioned in the first paragraph and that paragraph is what the nurse has to do before she is or or when the nurse is ready to depart okay so i hope you understood so please free feel to post any kind of questions or any doubts that you have regarding this particular question and um, definitely i will try to answer them in the comments Okay, thank you so much.